Hello guys, so I will be working on this MacBook A1708 MacBook Pro which is not charging 5 volt and uh, we know it's the DC jack the reason behind is um, this came before and uh, the both the ports was moisture damage we give them a clean a good clean it was working fine and after one month you know so again same problem so we know this is the DC jack replacement it's not plug and play it's a bit uh, difficult to do so I will show you how I do it okay let's do it now we have got two options here either i can heat from here this will come out like this okay or either i heat it from here so first of all we have to remove this plate so that we can see the connectors behind because even though they come out like downwards we have got holes here which we have to clean and then solder it back so this uh, board absorbs lots of heat so which definitely i don't want to give too much heat to the board so i will cut this sheet and then heat it from this side and put some protection here this is how I'm going to do it. So now guys my plan has changed because I see lots of these small components here and I don't want to hit it from here because I don't want to you know blow off these any of these components but once we clean it we have to solder it and then we need this space anyway which will be easier so now I'm gonna heat it from this side should I or uh, should but here still you know component here but I should put a heat resist tape here and then heat it that should be okay isn't it okay let's do it because if I'm heating it from here the heat will go down not as quickly as if we are heating it from here and then we can put some low melt solder here as well before we remove it so that it's easy to come out okay
Okay, after a bit of cleaning, the first of all, look closely. If we have done any damage, as you can see through all the these connectors, they are free from any solder in it. So guys, I have seen lots of video where they using the solder sucker. But honestly spe speaking, if you tint them with low melt solder and if you have got a good solder iron, then you don't need that sucker. You can put it up. See, this this board is sucks heat a lot. You know, it's had got a large thermal mass. But do you see? Even you can see through. It's all 100% done. So now you can see how nicely each of the pin uh, this is uh, what you see is a um, reverse user I'm using to hold on okay so let's start from here So what do you think guys, better than factory, lots of YouTubers says better than factory, but this is really better than factory. So this is the broken one, okay, faulty one and this is the new one. Now the problem is, is it going to work because this is from the donor board, let's see. If it's If that DC jack which is uh, from donor board, if the DC jack is good then I don't see any reason why it should not work. And if that was the problem, that was the problem I know because we clean those DC jack it was okay sitting properly sitting properly only thing we need is this here. SSP Okay, all good I'm not going to connect anything this moment One two three and go but do you see the um, oh no <laughs> 20 <laughs> so that means almost 600 milliamps I have not connected anything so there is no shine so far come on boot up battery is not connected so that is okay 280 290 Well, we are getting correct voltage now, which is 20. Should I connect the battery? But it should turn on. 
Okay, let's wait. Let's wait. See what's gonna happen. Still promising 200 and it should turn on now. What's wrong? Why it's not turning on? Should I connect? Oh, look at it, man. I have not connected LCD. Come on. Oh. Uh, gave me a nightmare man uh, oh no I'm gonna hold this battery uh, sorry LCD connectors really see okay let's wait <laughs> yes so the battery connectors was not so there you go sir all done it gives you immense pleasure you know after you worked one hour and then if it didn't work you know you think you lost your one hour and uh, but when it works so that gives you pleasure thank you very much for watching see you in next video bye